try this shit. Oh. God. So, something broke. <laughs> oh my gosh, don't try this at home. It doesn't smell bad. But something definitely broke. Oh, now it smells bad. That is she. That is she. That is she. So, guys, as you may know, I actually tried. Oh, you're probably watching the same video. I actually tried to plug this in. Uh, this is a. As you can see here, it's DC 6 volts. Oh, wait, no, you were able to see that. It says right here DC 6 volts. Right? And, uh, you know, I got this Xbox adapter for the Xbox, and it's rated, you know, uh, 24 volts and all, which uh, is pretty crazy. And I plugged this in using a 24 volt adapter, and I I was aware of the fact that I would be overvolting this, although I expected it to work and just glitch out a little bit, because 24 volts isn't that much. Uh, you know, but no, instead I blew a cap or a resistor or something inside this. I blew a component. It snapped and sparks came out of here. It wasn't as bad as I expected it to be, actually. It's not as bad as you'd think. But it did spark. Some sparks came out of here. And if you get close enough, it smells really bad. But it didn't stink up my room. My room still smells like roadkill. So, uh, I'm actually going to try to take this thing apart. And, uh, you know, see what I can get out of this. Here's already a note of bad design here for this Casio HR100SBK. Right there, you can see the model number. There you go. That eight, that thing looks like it says 8K, but it's actually BK. Anyway, uh, already bad design here. We've got the two different types of screws, which is not great, and they're all used in the same case. The smaller screws are used over here, while the larger screws are used over here uh, on the larger side, which I guess makes sense, but you can always use small screws on both sides just to make it easier. But just remember, uh, just as, this is just talking to me if I never need to remember. These screws go all over here. These screws go right here in this area, or whatever. Anyway, we're going to take this thing up, or take this thing apart now, and see what happens. So it's already not looking too bad. There's your button. There, your button's right here. Or, you know, this is where your buttons are, but... I imagine it's something straight through the power. Uh, it's strange. Uh, you can't really see anything burnt from here. I'm going to take off the board so we can see underneath. Also, there's a scratch right there, so I don't even think that would have worked. Uh, you can see. But the... This thing's like vintage, dude. Look how thick the board is. The circuit board's pretty thick, and it's... Yeah, I don't know. Alright, I'm about to remove the motherboard. It's got a lot of stuff attached to it, but... We could try our best. There's, uh... Another cable. Oh my god, there's so much stuff that could have exploded. There's so much stuff that could have exploded. I can't see anything damaged yet let's take a look as soon as I get the board out please hold well guys I figured out what it was and it's not gonna work look at that that thing just exploded you can see there's a whole piece missing there and uh, that piece is probably inside this somewhere because I mean there's shavings all over my bed. I mean, that's crazy, actually. That, uh, and I don't know what those are. I have no clue what those are. Those are probably not a part of this. There, there it is. You see it? There's a piece of the chip. You can see the writing on it. So I put so much voltage into it that it launched a piece of the, uh, chip off and I don't know what that chip is but I believe it's a power manager chip so it wasn't a capacitor it wasn't a resistor it was that chip that chip could not handle 24 volts 
So there you go. And, uh, I don't know what that is, but that thing didn't suffer any damage. Probably an inductor. It's crazy. I believe that chip manages the power. And let's see, actually, this... Yeah, you see this? The voltage from here goes straight to that chip. So that, because you can see the terminals there, it just goes straight to the chip. That's not good. That's not, you know... Well, I mean, I guess that is good. That's probably, you know... Uh, an easy fuse, basically. But that chip, if if you overvolted your calculator by accident, and you want to still be able to use it, then you're gonna have to get that chip replaced and not overvolt it the ne the second time, or just get a different chip and just replace all the components so that it can resist up to 24 volts.